mấy cái này đó là không phải là là Mercedes nó tự làm mà mấy hãng này nó mua mấy hãng này nó bỏ vô. Excuse me, is this yeah. technology is it uh, so is it supplies to the car manufacturer the components um, or is it? So the 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 braking that we're gonna show you now is not yet in mass production. Okay. The E class as it is in here is a mass production with our full automated parking system. And what we do now, based on the sensors we have in here and the cameras, we are developing some more features that we can offer. But okay. the braking is not yet in, in mass production, but okay. we would be ready. So for this for this car that you use for demonstration yeah. of, of the technology, so you basically uh, get the sensors, right? Your it's our your, sensors. We are you, the, your we are sensor, the supplier, yep. and then you install it on there. I, I I don't see the sensor outside, so I can show you. The so so the sensor is it's quite small. It is. Uh, it is oh. the ultrasonic sensor, so this size from the outside. Oh. And then so technically you just put it in, and then I don't the the installation part is not that. I guess not. My question is not that complicated, right? Or it depends on the the type of car. Okay. So the shape of the car, the size of the car, okay. um, it's I would. It might be complicated. It might not. It always depends on the customer and the type of car okay. we have to put the sensors in. Okay. So what we basically have in here, we have four cameras. There's one in the front, one in the rear, and each mirror got a camera. And then we have six ultrasonic sensors in the front and six ultrasonic sensors in the rear. Mm -hmm. And with all the sensors and the cameras, we can create this 360 near shield around the vehicle. Mm. And what we can do with this near shield is, we can show the driver if he is very close to something. So you, you can see, mm. we start from the very beginning when driving through this narrow gate. And then we can track the obstacles all around the vehicle and can, every time we can show the driver there's something very close to your car. And what we can do in addition, and this is the big advantage, if you are driving around manually like this and there are some obstacles around and you say, I would like to go like there and you steer, oh. the system going to stop your car. Because if we go on driving, we will crash into this obstacle on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the system monitors the, the 360 surrounding of the vehicle and if there is any emergency, we're going to stop the car to not damage the car or to not, and this is the next thing I would like to show you, to not injure any human beings. So you could imagine some kids are running around the car behind and you can't even see them. So the system can detect pedestrians as well. So if you just drive backward and there's some pedestrian behind the vehicle, the vehicle stop as well. So by this we can ensure all around the vehicle, if there's any emergency with pedestrians or any kind of obstacles, we're going to stop the car to not injure any humans and to not um, damage your car as well. See, there's already the next group coming. So I can show you the sensors from the outside if you are interested. 